From this presentation onwards, we are starting with this new chapter that is relations. And in this particular presentation, I will introduce you to the concepts of relations. So let's get started. Here is the definition of relation. Let A and B be two sets. A binary relation R from A to B is a subset of A cross B. So a binary relation R from set A to set B is nothing but a subset of A cross B or Cartesian product of A and B. In other words, we can say R is a subset of A cross B. Recall that A cross B is nothing but a set of all ordered pairs A comma B, where A belongs to set A and B belongs to set B. Usually we use the notation A R B to denote A comma B belongs to R. Sometimes we call this A R B as A related to B. A is not related to B is used to denote A comma B does not belong to R. As simple as that. Right? So these are the notations we must remember. Apart from this, we must remember that R is a subset of A cross B if R is defined from A to B. Now let's consider one example. Let's say A is a set which consists of 1, 2, 3 and B is a set which consists of these elements 0, 1, 2, 4. A cross B must be this set which consists of all these ordered pairs. And in each ordered pair we have first element and second element where the first element belongs to set A and second element belongs to set B. Here you can clearly see we have these ordered pairs 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 4, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 4. Right? These are all the ordered pairs inside A cross B. Let's say R is the relation where A comma B belongs to R if and only if A is equal to B. I want to create this relation R where A comma B, this ordered pair belongs to R if and only if A is equal to B. This means I want to include only those ordered pairs where A is equal to B. That means first element is equal to second element. Right? This is how R looks like. R is equal to this set which consists of these ordered pairs 1, 1 and 2, 2. And you can clearly see this R is a subset of A cross B because this R is derived from this A cross B. Isn't that so? Now let's see the graphical representation of these ordered pairs. And this is how it looks like. I have listed down all the elements of set A here and have listed down all the elements of set B over here. We have 1, 2, 3 over here and 0, 1, 2, 4 over here. You can see I have drawn an arrow from this point to this point and from this point to this point. Actually, these arrows are used to represent ordered pairs of relation R. So this is nothing but relation R, right? Here you can see this arrow is representing the ordered pair 1, 1 and this arrow is representing the ordered pair 2, 2. This whole mapping is relation R, right? We have these ordered pairs 1, 1 and 2, 2. So this is the graphical representation of these ordered pairs and eventually this means we are talking about relation R, right? We have seen how to define a relation from A to B. Now we will see how to define a relation from a set to itself. A relation on a set A is a relation from A to A. Please remember this. A relation on a set A is a relation from A to A. Let's consider one example. Let's say R is a set which consists of these ordered pairs A, B where A divides B. This relation is defined on set A that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Obviously, we first have to take A cross A that is Cartesian product of A with itself. And then we can choose all the ordered pairs where the first element divides the second element. Right? Here you can see this is the relation so formed where the first element divides second element. You can clearly see that 1 divides 1, 1 divides 2, 1 divides 3, 1 divides 4, 1 divides 5, 1 divides 6, 2 divides 2, 2 divides 4, 2 divides 6, 3 divides 3, 3 divides 6, 4 divides 4, 5 divides 5, 6 divides 6. These ordered pairs are included in R because first element in each ordered pair divides second element in that ordered pair. Right? So this is our relation R. And you can see this is a subset of A cross A. Right? And this is the graphical representation of relation R. You can see these mappings, right? From 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, 1 to 6. Then we have a mapping from 2 to 2, then 2 to 4, then 2 to 6. Then we have a mapping from 3 to 3 and 3 to 6, then 4 to 4, 5 to 5, 6 to 6. So this is nothing but relation R, right? Now after understanding how to define a relation from a set to itself, we will try to find out the number of relations on a set, that is, on a single set with n elements. Okay? 
we know that a relation on a set A is a subset of A cross A. Let us suppose that set A contains n elements and A cross A contains n square elements, right? If it is the case that n elements are there in set A, then n square elements must be there in A cross A. We are interested in listing down all the subsets of A cross A means we are interested in finding the power set of A cross A. Why we are interested in listing down all the subsets of A cross A? Because we want to find out the number of relations on a set with n elements. We know that a relation on a set A is a subset of A cross A. That is why we are interested in finding all the subsets of A cross A. Right? Means we are interested in finding the power set of A cross A. We know that P A is the power set of A and let's say A has n elements, then P A must have 2 to the power n elements. Isn't that so? Therefore, P A cross A must have 2 to the power n square elements. Right? P A cross A, that is power set of A cross A must have 2 to the power n square elements because there are n square elements in A cross A. Then power set of A cross A must have 2 to the power n square elements. Hence, the number of relations on a set A with n elements is equal to 2 to the power n square, which is actually the cardinality of P A cross A, that is power set of A cross A. So, the number of elements in power set of A cross A is actually equal to the number of relations on a set A, right? We know that cardinality of power set of A cross A is nothing but 2 to the power n square, which represents the number of subsets of A cross A. Number of subsets means number of relations. Right? Up to now, we have understood what is a relation. We have seen how to define a relation from a set A to set B. Then we have also seen how to define a relation from a set to itself. Also, here we have seen how to find the number of relations on a set with n elements. Right? We have seen this, that the number of relations on a set A with n elements is nothing but 2 to the power n square. Because we know that in set A cross A, we have n square elements. And the power set of A cross A has 2 to the power n square elements. Right? In the next presentation, we will discuss types of relations. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.